All right, guys, welcome to the raid. I mean, the front. <laughs> we will be raiding. Um, yeah, so this episode, guys, we're going to get a few raids going and uh, build up our base a bit. The first thing here is try to get some uh, arrow turret thing. Um, we're going to place it here, just facing out the gate. We have another one on the other side as well. So that should help a bit. I just need to turn it around. Here we go. There we go. I like I like the placement of that now. They open the gate. Boom. Dead. Right. And now we need to create um, a vehicle factory so we can get the, the simple car. And once we get the simple car, guys, we're going to go around our map. We're going to go looking for gaffs. And um, preferably wooden ones because they're the only ones I can raid at the moment. And we're going to look for um, drop points as well around. So make sure you stick around. We have good raids, guys. Um, so that is the vehicle factory done. And I have the polymer polymerizer as well. And I'm going to put that up here. There should be enough room for it. Um, I'm thinking at the end here, it should fit perfectly, guys. There we go. That's another job done. So I was out mining, guys, and I would come back to my base and uh, wait till you see this sneaky guy trying to attack it. Look at him, what a snake. How did I miss my first shot there? I should have landed two of the shots, guys. He hit me nice. Nice, I got him. Oh, he got me bad there, guys. He took so much health away with that shot. He got me with the shotgun from that range and I can't hit him, what is going on? I need to back up a minute. I should not have missed those shots guys, that was the decider right there. I messed up. Ah! Messed up so bad guys. Boom, dead. Right, I'm gonna take my handgun. Oh no, I hear him in his car going away guys. But I'm gonna take my handgun just in case. Where is he at? Yeah, he's gone. Well gone, guys. Well, I will find you, Izzy man. And your, your time will come by. So that made me so paranoid, guys. I know he's going to come back. So I'm actually going to do something I've never done before. And that's, I'm going to put some chests in like a secret location near my base. So if they do raid it, all my um, valuable loot will be over here. And hopefully they will not see it. They shouldn't see this here. I actually went down the hill there just to check how visible it was and it's not visible at all guys. So I transferred all my stuff. I put an arrow wall here as well so that they do get into my base and they have to um, like uh, destroy stuff. The arrows are going to be hitting them in the face. It should be hard for them to, to actually pull it off. And I'm going to put a sleeping bag um, just outside my base as well in case it, they destroy it and I can just spawn quickly there guys and um, get the chest get a gun and surprise them and shoot them that's the plan so as you can see guys I've made a lot more walls in the base and um, it just makes it a bit harder for them to get at it it's still not a good base but um, it shouldn't be that easy for them to to get everything right so I came across this dude 
Um, he has a simple wooden base and I can see his name. He's just chilling inside. But sadly, this wooden spear won't do it. So I decided to drive down once I got my car and I've got a, a metal spear now as well. So that should get in that door. I can see. <laughs> He's just chilling there. Nice. Take out a sleeping bag. He hardly has any guns or anything, so to be honest with you, there's no threat. I'm just gonna play with him now, guys. Let him up. All right, dude. Nah, not today, son. Bring him back up again. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a bad day for you, boy. He has one box. That's it. All right, he's dead. Let's take what is good. We have some machine parts. A small bit of uh, iron or lead, iron ore. What else do we got here? Um, nothing really, to be honest. He literally has nothing. It wasn't even worth fucking PvP in him, but um, why not? Why not? I need I need to practice anyway, guys. Is he gonna come back or what? I hope he comes back and opens that door so I don't have to open it myself. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> why did you come back? He's just looking at me like, why man, why? Why are you doing this? I have nothing. And I'm like, fuck you. If you, if you were me, you would do the same thing, so. No mercy for the wicked guys. Here, take your loot back, boy. Go on, take your loot. I give you your loot. 
and you can go free. Nah, you can't go free. <laughs> oh my god, I've taken this guy's soul, guys. I feel bad now at this point. I, I don't even know is there any point to doing this chest, guys. Yeah, there was nothing in it. Yeah, there was just nothing. In those two raids now, I got nothing, but... It was kind of fun interacting with your man anyway. Good crack. I was going to head back to my base, recuperate, and and then uh, go out again and do some more PvP, guys. Off we go in our little car, bye. It's a fine yoke. There's our base, guys. Sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> oh my god, guys. What the hell? I got full on raided, guys. They take. They've taken everything. Like everything. Now that's what you call karma, guys. I fucking fucked up your man. Was annoying him. Did the bad man on him. And I come back to my base and everything is gone. Some would say I deserve it. That is so sad though. And uh, there's a glitch guys. It's like the, the drill that the guy used to raid the base. It's still like sounding. But did, he, but did he, he take the chests is the question. No he didn't guys. My hiding spot worked. Even though there's fuck all in the boxes, it still work, guys. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Please like, subscribe.